welcome back to my channel. If you have never seen my face before, my name is Katya and I do makeup tutorials. Today I'm gonna make a tutorial based on this look that I have on me right now, which I have created using my Morphe slash James Charles palette. And if you want to find out how I created this look, then definitely keep on watching this video. But before we start, don't forget to leave thumbs up under this video and to subscribe to my channel. And without making this intro for too long, let's get on to the video. So, I'm first of all going to prepare my face for makeup. And for that, I'm going to use my Mario Badescu facial spray. This one is with lavender and just spray it all over your face. And then my next step will be eyebrows. For that I'm going to use my Catrice eyebrow pencil. This one is in shade, I'm pretty sure, 035. And then after that I'm going to apply uh, my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is in shade 369C. <laughs> watched any of my previous videos you already know which three following steps are coming up and first will be concealer I'm using my by Catrice uh, liquid camouflage concealer and I'm in shade 005 our second step will be bronzing our face or contouring basically giving it nice lines defining the jawline and so on you already know anyway so for that I'm going to use my BH Studio Pro bronzer and I'm in shade 250. And our third step is going to be baking our face. And for that I'm using my Dermacool Invisible Fixing Powder and I'm in shade light. today's look I am going to use my Morphe slash James Charles palette and if you haven't seen this palette yet um, it is like variety of like all the possible colors in here and today I am going to do blue slash purple look so I'm going to use this area of colors I will show you like 
more precise um, which exactly colors I am going to use so um, to even start off I have to apply some first shade and I'm going to oh my god this palette is so huge I don't know where to put it so I'm going to start off by using this beige shade it's called canvas and it's true I'm going to use it as a canvas and um, just apply it all over my eyelid <laughs> So for the first shade of a color, I'm going to use this dark blue color. Uh, this shade is called Cola and for application I'm going to use this shader brush and I'm going to apply it over the lid so that I get my base, like base color from which we will start this look. Okay, so first shade is applied and as you can see it looks like somebody just beat me up but it's fine we're going to continue blending out our blue eye by using this lighter blue shade which is called um, brother and I'm going to use the same brush and just let slightly blend out the edges so we can continue to next shade. So the reason why I use this shade is because as you can see it has already a little bit of purple undertone and my next shade will be this lighter purple shade which is called single and I'm going to blend out the edges of the lighter blue shade and for that I'm going to use my big fluffy blending brush. purple shade is applied and while I was blending it out I decided to add this dark purple shade in the crease uh, the shade is called escape and I simply added it to the crease to make it look darker so it would be like more gradient from blue to purple so our next shade is going to be this uh, blue glittery shade and I'm going to apply it on the inner part of the eyelid So for now I am done with eyeshadow and my next step is going to be eyeliner. I'm going to use my new Catrice uh, liquid liner. This one is matte and the difference is just that it is uh, very thin. And I'm going to do the upper wing, the lower lash line and also the inner corner. to blend out 
out the lower lash line using this pointed crease brush and the black shade which is called Spooky. Now it is time for another eyeliner. This time it's going to be this blue Catrice glittery eyeliner that I'm going to apply only on the lower lash line, just a little strike. It is lashes time. I'm using as always my huge competition lashes and some eyelash glue. So to finish lashes, I'm going to use my mascaras. First one is by Gosh. This is like normal black mascara. And second one is by Dermacol. This one is Mega Lashes, uh, also black mascara, but waterproof. So the mascara and lashes are done. And I think I never said the reason for why I use two mascaras. And it is because... Of course, I rather use waterproof mascara for competition, makes sense, right? But if I use straight away um, waterproof mascara, it is very hard to take it off. So that's why I always apply first layer of like any normal mascara, which will make your waterproof mascara wash off much easier. So now it is time for highlighter. We're going back to the palette. And I'm going to use this shade, which is called Face. So this golden shade, and I'm just going to apply it on my brow bone, my cheekbone, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. So we have just two last steps to do and our next step is lips. First of all, I'm going to line my lips by using my Kiko lip liner. This is in shade 313 and on top I will uh, apply my CoverGirl um, gel liquid lipstick and this is in shade 150 raspberry jelly. are done and normally I think I would never go for such a dark color but I know that many girls like doing very dark looks so this is an example of a look you can do so our very last step that we still have to do is fixing this all in place for that I'm using again my Mario Badescu facial spray with lavender so just spray it all over your face And we are done! So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then don't forget to leave thumbs up under this video and to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to find me on any social media platforms, then you can find all the links also in the description down below. And I will see you in my next week video.